welcome to lesson seven of the hashtag make your bed challenge. I'm so excited to have you back here. I'm so excited to be delivering this week's lesson. It's on one of my all time favorites. I know I say that every week, probably more or less, but the point is everything that I'm talking about are things that I truly believe in. And I don't just believe in them, I do them. You know, I actually do the actions, I actually do the activities. And that's why I'm so passionate about them because I can see how they work in my life and how they worked in the lives of people around me. So this week's lesson is on your morning routine. And it's something that is so often forgotten and people don't do, we don't even think about it really. And so when you take control of that, when you notice that you have this incredible opportunity, it changes everything. And you can literally change your life, your mindset, how you approach things, um, and it can really help set you up for success and a great day um, and kind of taking control and being grateful and proud of all of those things that we've talked about before. So we're gonna dive into this week's lesson now. When I have delivered this training in person at our residential junior nanny courses and client nanny training weekends and things like that, I have sat the nannies down and said to them, guys, what does your morning routine look like? Do you have one? Can you tell me about it? And I'll get kind of, you know, maybe not much response. And then someone will be like, no, no, I've got a morning routine. I'm like, great, run me through your morning routine. She's like, my alarm goes off. Um, I get up, I do my teeth, I have a cup of tea, I eat my breakfast and I leave. And I'm like, cool. I was like, that is not the morning routine that I'm talking about. <laughs> so that is just getting up. That, that's, that's no morning routine. That is just simply what happens when you get out of bed. And maybe you're one of those people that doesn't do your teeth, in which case you really need to go and do them. But the point is, that is just normal. That's not that is not your morning routine. That is not what we are talking about here in being your morning routine. Now your morning routine is going to be combining elements of that we've covered in previous uh, lessons and, um, of the challenge. So you'll need to kind of go back and refresh yourself if you're not confident on them yet, or if for whatever reason you haven't got around to doing them, you really do need to have them because they're a really key part of your morning routine. Now having a morning routine is about making time for yourself making time to get yourself and your mind in the right place for your day. It is setting yourself up to succeed. It is setting yourself up to take control. It is setting yourself up to react in the best way that you can to the things that happen, that happen and will happen to you throughout your day. And when we talk about it, we want you to actively go and do this. We want you to bring this into your life and prioritize it. Find the time to have a morning routine. So I will run you through what happens when you don't have a morning routine. So when you don't have a morning routine, you're just guessing here that this might be you. you your alarm goes off and you hit snooze. Go ahead, lie down, and you're like, no, no, I'm asleep, I'm asleep. And your alarm goes off again, and you hit snooze. And then you go back and you go back to sleep. And then your alarm goes off again, and you hit snooze. Before you know it, you've hit snooze for at least, what, 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes? And in that time, you haven't actually slept well, have you? You have been like, tossing and turning, your alarm's been going off, you've been kind of going back to sleep, waking up. So it's not exactly been a really good use of 30 minutes of sleep. So you may as well just have not set your alarm and got up 30 minutes later. There's no point in having your alarm going off at 6am if you're not going to get up until quarter to seven. Like, just set it for quarter to seven. Give your body <laughs> that 45 minutes of good sleep. But then you, right, you've set your alarm and you finally got out of bed and then you look at your watch and you're like, oh, golly and you realize that you are meant to be out of the house at let's say eight o'clock and right now it's like 10 to 8 and you don't have time to eat a healthy breakfast you don't have time to put on a really good outfit feel really good about yourself you don't have time to work out you don't have time for any of this because you are on the back foot how are you ever going to be on the front foot however you're going to be proactive about what is happening if you are constantly reacting to what has happened to you but the thing is, is you chose that. You chose that wake up. You chose to be running late. You chose to oversleep. You chose to not have time to get dressed or get ready. You chose all of those things. 
Nobody else made you do that. Nobody was standing above your bed, pinning you in your bed, telling you that you had to sleep in more, that you had to get up later, that you had to stress yourself out when you, the moment you did get out of bed. Nobody did that to you, did that to yourself. And that, when you realise that, and it takes us back to lesson two, where we talk about how you are in total control of your life. When you realise that and get back to that and take control of it, it changes your life. I'm not telling you this from, you know, a point of principle or, you know, when people tell you things, they don't actually do it or believe it. I'm telling you this because I believe it and I do it every single day.